All right, so uh, in this video, we're going to be creating another account uh, so that we can upload another project, okay, in uh, infinitofree.net. So from here on this page, uh, just head over to our home, okay, click home right here. And we will be able to see uh, all of our accounts right now. We only have one. As you can see, we have active accounts one, uh, one of three. All right, so we can go ahead and click create account to create a new account. I mean another account within this uh, uh, within the infinity free okay so we're gonna be selecting a subdomain here so before we selected that RF that GD so it's up to you which one you want to use okay they have infinity free app.com I'm gonna be selecting before we selected RF that GD uh, right now I'm, I think I'm gonna be selecting uh, epz.com Okay, just for demonstration purposes. But I kind of like this dot rf dot gd because it's short, right? So uh, and it looks professional. Right, anyway, I'm just gonna be using epz.com for now, for demonstration purpose. You can stick to this rf dot gd if you want. So I'm gonna be naming this site. Uh, maybe we will have uh, maybe we'll go the calculator app that we have created. Let me just double check in our desktop. I think we have here calc. All right, we're going to be uploading this uh, website right here or this project, okay? So, uh, let's head over to our, where is it? Our account here. I'm going to be naming this uh, mini-calculator. I think this one is available. Uh, let's click search domain if it's available. All right, so the main mini calculator that epz.com is available. Maybe, yeah, I think let's go ahead and do that. So uh, account username is going to be generated automatically. Uh, we're going to type the account password here. Uh, maybe I'll just use this. Okay, I'll paste it here. My GitHub one. All right, a very simple password. So I'm checking I'm not a robot and then I'm going to click uh, create account. All right, so your account has been created. Uh, that means we're successful. We can now view in client area or open control panel. We're going to be clicking view in client area. All right, so right now it says we're setting up your account. Please uh, refresh the page in a few minutes. All right, this is what I'm talking about before that sometimes it takes them actually like days and that's understand and that's understandable because this is a free account. All right, let's just refresh the page. All right, so yeah, right now we're we're going to have to wait for this uh, to be completed for our uh, you know, for our uh, uh, new upload but uh, since we already have started the video uh, for now I think uh, we already have forms free right forms free dot io forward slash forms remember that we have this account as well right did I save my credentials uh, let's uh, yeah I think currently I'm logged in so uh, we're gonna be uh, learning this because right now let me just refresh our account here so right now they're still setting up the new account yeah it, it can take them like uh, I, before I experienced it took like uh, a day before it was ready so anyway while we are waiting for that hopefully this one will be, will be completed and I'm going to create a video maybe the next one for this to continue so let's head over to here to formspree.io and if you're not logged in, uh, just please log in. And if not, if you if you did not register yet for this account, please uh, watch the previous video in the section where we prepare. Uh, I think that was uh, preparing for uploading. Okay, we have a dedicated uh, section for for this to create this kind of account. So what we're going to do, we have a project before the personal website. Right, I'm going to click file, open folder, and go to our project with the personal website. I'm selecting that. 
because in this uh, project, okay, let me just right click that uh, index.html and open with live server. In this project, we have a form that we created for our um, clients for them to be able to message us directly from our website. Okay. It's right over here at the bottom, right here, okay? As you can see. So, uh, right now, in the type here, it doesn't do anything, okay? So, we want our client to be able to submit us to uh, a, a, a message, and that message, we're going to uh, receive that in our email, okay? We're, I'm going to be using this email right here. This is a Gmail account. Okay, you can use any email if you want. All right, you can use any email if you want. Okay, right now I am getting some uh, email from Infinity. But anyway, are you, we're going to be using this email right here. Uh, you were, you, uh, to set up with formsfree.io, okay? This is where we receive our email from our client. So what we're going to do now, we're going to modify our code here, index.html, just a little bit, okay? I'm pressing Alt-Z on keyboard so that this one is wrapped. Okay, so when, if not, I have to scroll all the way here to see everything. All right, so Alt-Z to wrap it out. So uh, we're gonna be using uh, form spree. Form, uh, let's head over back to our form spree. And let's select this form one, that the one that we have created before, okay? When we select form one, okay, right now it says target uh, email. That's my email, okay? So uh, let's click integration. Okay, right now in the integration, you will see that we have a link here, formspree.io, and this one right here, okay? Are we going to click copy to copy that? And we're going to paste it in our code, okay? Here in our code, uh, we are going to paste it inside action, okay? Paste it right there. That's the purpose of action here, okay? So now, as you can see, there, they have an example code here. Uh, the, the, the link that, that we need, we are going to put it here. In fact, you can copy paste this in your code, but we already have an existing code with some styling, so we will just uh, modify it. All right, so copy that. The next thing is we have here an attribute called method. It says post, okay? You can type here method and then post. So that, uh, just to explain this a little bit, method is an attribute just to tell the computer that uh, we are posting this information to the web server. Okay, that's, there's a method get, but those things are for like back-end development, PHP, all right? Uh, I think I'm going to be creating uh, another course for PHP. Uh, there are already available courses here in Udemy if you wanted to learn PHP. Uh, of course, there are other back-end uh, uh, software as well, like Node.js, all right? Uh, it's up to you if you want to learn more about the web development, but right now, we're just going to be putting here method uh, equals post. That means we're going to post whatever the uh, information that the user will enter in our form. Okay, the next one in our input type, we have to specify an attribute called name and name as the specification. So do we have it here? So we already have type, ID, and placeholder. So we're also going to add name. Uh, let's put it here at the beginning name equals to name because na name this this one right here is uh this can be anything it can be last name you know it can be first name if you're going to program your own server okay which is not covered in this course so it's going to be on php it's a different programming language so, but right now, they already have an example here. They, they name it name instead of first name because they're trying to make this as generic as possible, right? So, we're going to be using name, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to work. The next one is going to be the input type for email. Their name is reply to, okay? So, we're going to copy that. 
okay copy and put it here in our email the, the very beginning okay hold on uh, okay maybe let's type it manually name is equal to make sure you have double quotes right here okay it's equal to reply to or underscore reply to okay save that and for the input type submit and the value is send okay hold on let me check i think uh, for the value we don't have to specify that anymore because we already name it submit here type submit we already specified here type submit and we're good to go so save your work okay and head over to our project where is it did i click that already let me close that so i'm going just to make sure we head over here right click and then open with live server we're going to test if it's already working okay so i'm going here at the bottom i'm going to say here my i'm going to type my name maybe uh, is this is going to be the name of the client i'll just type here a random name maybe john smith email maybe john that smith at uh, example.com uh, type here uh, and say hey i need your services please build a website for me all right cool so uh we're just trying to you know uh, uh I, I just, we're just we're just creating an example as if our client is message messaging us okay so i'm hitting on submit all right and now it says thanks the form was submitted successfully all right so it's already working right so that buttons that button before the submit button are not is not doing anything but right now you have this okay when we uh check our email okay click inbox and it looks like it we don't have it here maybe we have it in our let's check in our mo and spams folder because sometimes it's being sent there and we have it here new submission from forms free, forms free right so when you check that you will see the name john smith right and then uh, reply to this is their email the one that we have okay it looks like we don't have the message all right let's just check yeah we only got the uh the name and reply to but at least we got that let's let's fix our code it looks like we did not get the uh message okay the name reply to let's just check the forms free okay forms free right here integration name email okay all right it's right over here at the bottom with their example we did, did they did they only put name and email and submit that's why we missed the message but when we scroll down here they have an implementation for html ajax react html with uploads but we're only uh we're only going to be covering the html part okay so right here they have a text message area they have an attribute called message okay so we're going to do that as well it's all uh, the attribute name with the value of message so we're going to do that here in our text area we have a name attribute here but we don't have a message so let's type message here save our work and let's head over here let's say go back uh, refresh our page just to make sure let's type our name maybe i'll uh, say customer one email customer at let's put a name maybe james anderson i just made it up made that up okay uh james dot anderson at example dot com message please uh, help me build a website for my restaurant all right now we're clicking submit okay and now it's loading my internet right now is uh, kind of all right so there you have it so it says thanks the form was submitted successfully let's check our email all right 
Where's my email here? Okay, from my email, let's check uh, in inbox. It's not there. In my spams folder. And we have it here, new submission from form one. Okay. And this is our uh, previous message, I believe. Right. And the next one is our, uh, hold on, this one right here. Why is this, okay. Uh, right now we're going to click report not spam this is not part of the you know forms preview this is just for google they're treating it as a spam right now i'm going to click report not spam so that it will be routed to our inbox okay as like so right here we, we have it here in our inbox and as you can see we got the message from james anderson this is their email and this is their message please help uh, me <laughs> I forgot to put me here build a website for my restaurant let's do that again okay from here hold on where is it where's our website so let's say go back okay let's just refresh the page all right this is our website maybe we have a client with the name of john doe okay john doe uh, their email is john dot doe at example dot com uh, hey uh, please uh, build me a website for my gym about that okay click submit all right now we have a confirmation let's check our email all right our email did I close my email all right 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 over here Let's check our inbox and now we it's not in our spams folder and we click this and right here at the bottom from John Doe and this is his email and this is the message hey please build me a website for my gym all right cool so there you have it now you already uh, you can now uh, create an actual website that works all right your client will be able to send you a message using free platforms for free as well as infinite to free all right so in the next uh, let me just refresh here if, if if this account is already set up all right let me refresh that as you can see this is what i'm uh, what i've mentioned before that sometimes it takes like 72 hours for a new domain name to start working all right so they have this notification so see you in the next one uh, for us to, I think in the next video, we're not going to be using this. We're, we're going to be using the other, uh, the other website because I don't want to, to wait 72 hours for the next tutor tutorial. All right, so we're going to be using the previous domain that we have created uh, in our FileZilla. All right, so in our site manager, we have this my website, right? And we have these files. Uh, right now, uh, our website is this right here this is already online okay we have uploaded this we're gonna be deleting this project and we're gonna be uploading our personal website instead all right because our personal website is already working our customer can now send us an email here if they wanted to hire us all right so for for, for our services all right so i'm very excited for that uh, final video and uh, see you, all right? Have a great day.